Feminism, of course, breaks down into at least three waves. The first wave is about women having the vote. Everyone was on board for that very quickly. Um, and it took off very early in Australia. The first yeah. place women were given the vote was in an Australian state. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, and of course, this goes hand in hand with a, with a developing technology and a medical system that soon produces birth control. And birth control changes everything because now um, women don't have to stay at home. And as soon as, as medicine and technology changes the rules, then we have women at work, second wave feminism. And everyone says, well, this is a good thing. Everyone except the children who may not be being brought up by their mothers. But then people said to themselves, well, it's about human choice. Maybe they'll manage just as well. Who knows yet? We'll see. So this, this experiment of second wave feminism. And then you have newspapers saying, can, can women have it all? Can they reach the top of the, the work tree and produce healthy children? And we've been arguing about that for 50 years. Um, and then third wave feminism comes with, with a real sting in the tail because um, feminism is predicated first of all on equality with men, but, but then also on anger with men and on, and on the need to displace men, to get out from under men's feet, um, to produce a society where women are not controlled by men and, and get some degree of reparation for past wrong. So third wave feminism says, well, let's treat gender as a construct of the imagination. Basically, there's biology, you can't change your genitals, but you can change, you can change your gender, what you dress in, how you, how you act, how you expect, how you handle things, how you interrelate. That's all in the head. So now utopianism goes into the head, and fem third wave feminism says, you can be whatever gender you like. You can be male, female, transgender, bisexual, any, anywhere on, on the map, because um, that's where your true freedom lies, in your head. And if enough people have freedom in their head, then these shackles of oppression that um, the Judeo-Christian tradition above all has imposed on us will begin to dissolve. So the, the, the downside of this is that, that there's always been a gender war because, because power has always been part of the human experience. And on the whole, men and women have, have, have tried to manage their, their, their gender struggles. They move from falling in love to struggling to getting cross with each other, back to falling in love. So it's a bit, a bit messy, but, but on the whole, there are, there are stages of mutuality and mutual need. But, but third wave feminism intends to end that mutual need, uh, along with the help of science.